Good morning, boys and girls. It is so good to see you back here online. Boys and girls, we are continuing with our fruits of the spirit. We have learned about love, joy, and next is peace. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. And I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite stories. But before we get into all that, we are going to worship. So I want you guys to stand up. I want you to get ready to sing and to dance and to praise Jesus. And we will start right after these two songs. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Oh, we live for you.
one beside you open up my eyes in wonder show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me So good. I love worshiping. All right, boys and girls, the fruits of the Spirit. Do you remember our verse, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22? But the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, thankfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We've talked about love, and last week we talked about joy, and this week we are going to talk about peace. Boys and girls, when we have Jesus inside us, when we have the Holy Spirit inside us, when we love Jesus, he gives us peace. 
no matter the circumstances that we're going through. A peace where you just know it's gonna be okay. A peace that just trusts God and says, I know you have a plan and I know you're gonna work all this for good. It's a peace that we have inside of us. And boys and girls, as Christians, people can see that in us. So listen, I wanna talk about three guys. This is one of my favorite Bible stories. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Boys and girls, they got in trouble with the king at the time. The king said, bow to me. And they said, no, we only bow to God. And they got thrown into a fire as their punishment. They were sentenced to death and thrown into the fire. I want you to watch this video and see what happens. It's amazing. So as you watch this video, I want you to look at how were they? when they went into the fire, when they were convicted to go into the fire and what happened in there. It is a miracle. We will talk about it right after this. God's people were captured and taken away to the country of Babylon. The king of that country was named Nebuchadnezzar. Three young Israelites, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego worked for King Nebuchadnezzar. But when the king wanted them to bow down and worship a golden idol he made, they wouldn't do it. We can't. Let's go. So the king called for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Is it true that you did not worship the golden statue I have set up? I will give you a second chance to bow down and worship, or no god will be able to save you from my power. Nebuchadnezzar, you certainly have the power to throw us into the furnace, and our god has the power to save us. But even if he doesn't, we will not worship your statue. The king was furious and told his soldiers to heat the furnace seven times hotter than usual. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown in. But guess what happened? The men in the furnace didn't burn up. God sent someone to protect them in the furnace. The king was surprised when he saw four people walking around. So he told Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come out of the furnace. And the king made a new law. No one would be allowed to say anything bad about the God of Israel. Amazing. Right, boys and girls? Let's recap that story. So, they're captives in Babylon, right? And King Nebuchadnezzar, he creates this tall golden statue and he says, you have to bow down and worship it. And they said, no, we're not gonna do that. And he called them in and he says, is this true? That you're not gonna bow down? And they're like, yeah, that's true, right? And then he says, well, you're gonna go into the blazing furnace. Boys and girls, now you remember, this fire was so hot that some of the soldiers died who even got close to it. And you know what I love that they said? They said, our God can deliver us from that furnace. But even if he doesn't, we will not worship your gods. We will not bow down. I love that, boys and girls. They had such a peace about them, right? 
They knew what they were doing was the right thing. They knew God had a plan and they knew what God said. And God said, you will have no other idols except for me. And so they would not bow down and he delivered them. He got them out of that furnace. They weren't worried about it. And they said, even if it doesn't happen, whatever happens, we're fine with. Whatever happens, we have peace with. Boys and girls, there's always things in life that can get us antsy. Well, through all this, this um, pandemic that we're in, I've been feeling a lot of antsiness, a lot. And boys and girls, we as Christians have a peace because we know that God's in charge. We know that God is controlling this and we know that he's gonna work it all for good. And because we know that and because we know what the Bible says and that's what God says, we get to have a peace, a peace about us that we can go into that furnace because we know that God's gonna make it okay. Boys and girls, this is seriously one of my favorite Bible stories, and I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope as you walk in this week, and as you're working on who can you love more, and what ways can you be joyful, I hope that you remember to have a peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding. A peace because we know who's really in charge, and God's got us, he's got us in his hands. And because of that, we just get to have peace. Boys and girls, I love you all. I miss you all so very much. We are gonna end with our song. Remember the Fruits of the Spirit song? And then we have a special craft that you can make at home out of a paper plate, okay? Of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So you can remember this story. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Goodness.